we move on to part two. Today we're taking it a step further with the one-to-one -one and one-to-many relationships. As you may know, Spring Data JDBC itself cannot create database tables. We have to do this ourselves. Therefore, we will first go to the MySQL Workbench to configure two tables and create data. In the MySQL Workbench, we create two database tables. Owner and Adders. The Owner table has an ID, full name, email, and username. The Address table has an Owner references and an address line. Then we create two owners and two addresses. We are back in Eclipse to go over the new classes. First, we have two new records. Owner and addresses. The owner record has the same fields as the database and a reference to the address record. Important is the ID annotation. The address record has only one field. Address line. The address record has no ID and no ID annotation. In this case, we only need one repository interface, which extends the list CRUD repository. The last new class is the owner controller. Here we have the reference to the owner repository in two methods. The get owners returns a list of owners, and the get owner by ID returns one owner. We can now do a first boot and look in the browser. In the first browser window, we see the list of owners and the corresponding address. In the second window, we see the owner with ID 1, again with the corresponding address. The addresses are automatically loaded by Spring Data JDBC with the owner. This was the one-to-one -one relationship. Now we move on to the one-to-many relationship. So first we go back to the MySQL Workbench. Back in MySQL Workbench, we created two new tables with a one-to-many relationship. To-do and comments. The to-do table has the following fields. ID, title, content, published on, and updated on. The comment table has a reference to do. Name, content, published on, and updated on. Further, we create three to do's and two comments on to do with ID 1. In Eclipse, we have two new records to do and comment. The to do record has all the fields from the database and a set of comments. We also have two methods to add a comment and to delete a comment. The comment record has all the fields of the database and no ID or reference to the to-do record. Furthermore, there is the to-do repository interface and the to-do controller. The controller has a reference to the to-do repository and two methods. The get to dos returns the list of all to-dos. The get to do by ID returns one to-do with the appropriate ID. We can start the project a second time and look in the browser. In the browser window, we first see the list of all to-dos, and a to-do with ID 1 2 comments. The other to-dos have no comments yet. In the second window, we see to-do with ID 1 and 2 comments. In the third window, to-do with ID 2 and no comments. That's it for this video. Thanks for following. In the next video we will continue with relationships between two aggregates.